Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up a few more champions, and in this video, we're going to be taking up three champions. Two of them, actually all three of them, may come as a surprise to some of you guys. Um, it's going to be interesting. Uh, the first one is one that I actually wanted to take up for a while, and I didn't, and now I'm finally taking him up. The other two, I actually had not planned to take up anytime real soon, but things change. And if you think you know who I'm about to take up, leave a comment below. Let me know your guesses for the three, but we're about to reveal it. In five, four, three, two, one. First one up is going to be Red Guardian. That is the one that I had planned to take up because I actually liked him. He did some really good damage on his special two. And I was thinking, okay. And then I heard that they were planning a buff for him. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to work. We're going to take him up, like, right now. But then the war, you know, happened, and um, they decided, you know, out of a, a sense of sensitivity, not to take him up. And they didn't even tell us who it was. But most of us guessed who it was. Because, you know, look at who he is. Look at his nationality. So buffing him at that time would have been something, you know? Uh, now, a lot of people didn't really care. They just wanted a champion buffed. But I understand their reasoning. So for a long while, he remained at uh, rank one. And I kept thinking, man, he's kind of decent already, but... I wonder what they are going to do to him or what they were planning on doing to him. Then we found out that they are planning to finally buff him like they had been planning to before. And I said, okay, now is a great time to take him up. He's not bad. Even if they uh, buff him and he, you know, isn't all that uh, much more than he is right now. I don't really mind. You, you know, if, if he is going to be used in the arena, I'm good with that. He's actually pretty uh, fast in the arena. So I will take him to, you know, rank three. And then we will see if his buff is really good. He'll go to rank four when I can. Um, but right now... I'm kind of limiting myself to rank threes and I'm saving the rank fours or the rank fives for champions that are going to help me do the next big content. And right now, at the time I'm making this video, it is the Necropolis. So he's not going to help me with the Necropolis. So he's not going to go to rank four anytime soon unless his buff makes him an MVP for the Necropolis, okay? You can see here, I ran out. I, this is funny because I was running out of ISO and I wasn't looking at my gold. And I was like, okay, I'm about to run out of ISO. And then it was like, Chow! and I was like, what? Ah, I'm not really that low on gold. Look at my uh, crystals, okay? I'm not really that low on gold. I just have all of my gold in crystals, okay? That's all. And it keeps going up and down. They just recently removed the cost of Alliance tickets uh, for Alliance Quest. And I was using gold exclusively for those tickets. So it was, this will save me a lot of gold. And then uh, they're talking about the uh, Alliance raids and we don't really know a whole lot about them, but it looks like they will cost. 
so they're taking the place of the Alliance Quest uh, tickets. And we'll see how much it costs, but you can use glory. You can use gold, you know, you can use loyalty. So I'm going to wait and see uh, how that how that goes. All right. But in any case, every time I'm running out of gold, I just go over to my um, crystal stash, open up some more. Um, I don't really worry too much about it. I need to remember to sell some of this ISO, especially the um, gray bricks, because that will get me gold. But it's been so long since I've had to really worry about it. So we'll see. We'll see. And, and that's what you see me doing here. I'm looking through because I know I don't have enough uh, ISO, um, science ISO. So I was looking to see which one I had a lot of that I wasn't really going to be using. Now, you notice that I'm using the uh, mutant. Well, if you're watching this video, you know that Onslaught has just entered the contest and he is a mutant. I didn't know that when I was doing this, okay? Or I probably would have chosen a different class, but that's all right. Um, we got plenty. All right. So Red Guardian is now rank three. And on to the next one. And uh, this next one is actually an old favorite of mine. And it's going to be Guillotine. So if you guys have been with me for a long while, you remember when I first completed Realm of Legends. It's still on the uh, channel. I had to use a five-star, I think it was a rank one, unduped guillotine to get me past Wolverine. And it worked beautifully. First time I ever went in there and first time I used her and I found out when I was watching some other people, I really got lucky because her souls and everything, you had to do it just right. And I was aggressive and it worked. And so I was like, yeah, this was easy. What, what's the problem? She reversed his uh, regen nicely, took him down quick. I was like, okay. But watching some other people who weren't so lucky, um, I could see the frustration uh, that they had. But I've always liked Guillotine. And right now, there is a deathless Guillotine available, and we're collecting the pieces for her. And one of the pieces are going to come from doing a challenge. And that challenge involves this guillotine right here. So that is the primary reason that I am uh, ranking her up. Gonna have to use her in that challenge. But I love her anyway. And she, when duped, has a chance to steal help. She's actually really nice. Uh, and fun fact, this champion is Kabam's own creation. I believe she was the first. I remember when she came into the contest, I was like, who's Gilligatine? You know, I was like, is that a, a, a Marvel character or maybe a fighting game? You know, I, I didn't know what was going on. Like, like Ivy, you know, in um, Soul Calibur or something. And uh, they told me, no, oh, no, she doesn't. Uh, this is Kabam's creation. I was like, oh, so I don't feel bad for never having heard of her before. But I like her and her storyline and everything is really nice. You know, it's pretty cool. Anyway, that is my primary reason for taking her up to rank three. And the next one is very similar. And it's going to be Morningstar. I did not plan on ranking up Morningstar. Back in the day, I remember when I got a six-star Morningstar. She's good, but she takes some time to ramp up. And I was not happy when I double-duped her. So I got her once, then I got her again and duped her, awakened her. Okay, cool. Then I got her a third time, and I was like, are you kidding me? 
because I wasn't really planning on using her. And the one place that I used her when I did was in incursions. This is long before Hercules, long before any of that. And when you have her at max souls, she is crazy good. Okay? But you got to get her there. And if you run the ouchies, recoil mastery, double edge, liquid courage, it's a bit more difficult to ramp her up. So imagine, you know I always run the recoil masteries. So imagine I already don't like ramp up champions. And now my, you know, mastery setup makes it even more difficult to ramp her up. That's why she sat on the bench. But Kabam is coming out with this challenge, and I think um, it's act. It's in Act 8. I think it's 8.3. And there are, I think, two quests, two or three quests, where you have to use Morningstar, um, Guillotine, Guillotine 2099, who I already have rank ranked up. I had actually ranked her up in anticipation of Necropolis, thinking maybe she was going to be an MVP for it. Like, um, no, not, not Necropolis, sorry. Um, the Abyss. And I thought she would be an MVP for The Abyss. And she wasn't. Um, but she's also a good one, but she takes some ramp up, and I really don't like her ramp up. Because, you know, unless you finish the fight with a special three, you got to ramp up every fight. And so, not fun. Not fun at all. But she's another one. And then the last one, let me see, I said, um, I did say Purgatory, Guillotine, Guillotine 2099. And who was the last one? Let's see, Guillotine, Morningstar. Yeah, Guillotine, Morningstar, uh, Guillotine 2099, and Purgatory. Um, I think that's it. You have those four on your team, and you're good. Uh, if I'm forgetting one, let me know in the comments. I, I tend to forget stuff. Um, it's also almost midnight my time. So my, my brain is already uh, turning to mush. But... In any case, uh, that is going to do it uh, for this video. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Let me know if you're planning on doing that um, challenge to get that deathless piece. It seems like it's going to be a, a pretty interesting challenge. Not too bad. I mean, it's Act 8, so it's not too terribly bad. I'm definitely going to do it. Preparing already. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to take any of those that I mentioned up to rank four. I don't know yet. Um, you see here, I'm doing what I was talking about. Just selling, you know, uh, to get... Look, look, at, look at how much gold is right here just from selling this ISO. Look at how much this is. Look at that. So don't forget, you can sell your ISO if you have a, an abundance of it. I always forget, but as you can see, I've got a bunch. And sometimes I don't see it and I let it expire. That's on me, okay? But I decided to go ahead and sell a bunch of those so that I was not... Um, using up my my uh crystals um so anyway take care hit the like button if you enjoyed the video leave a comment let me know and you all have a blessed day